Fox. Hello, and welcome to the College of Fine Arts undergraduate ceremony. My name is Caitlin Paulson, and it is my honor to represent the School of Dance as their outstanding senior. <laughs> thank you. On behalf of all of the graduates, I want to thank all parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support. Thank you to the UA Dance faculty for making my college career unforgettable. While a UA dancer, I developed a strong appreciation for the human body and all it can do. My two passions were connected when I began my pre-medical track here at the U of A, hoping to pursue sports medicine in the future. Many science, and, uh, sorry, many science professors and physicians asked me why I chose a dance major and not something more suitable for the medical field. My reply, what better prepares you to treat athletes than becoming a creative, diversified, and self-disciplined athlete? Not once did anyone disagree. Now with endurance and dedication, I am standing here today graduating as a dance major and applying to medical school this summer. <laughs> I'm a proud member of the arts community. Artists take great risk and hopes for immense reward. We stand on the edge of uncertainty only to leap into the abyss of the unknown. Becoming an artist has taught me perseverance, self-worth, and patience. My story is only one of the many paths to this celebration. Thank you for supporting us in this journey. Now, please join me in standing for the processional of the faculty and graduates. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. You may please be seated. <laughs> you knew that was coming, right? I'm Andrew Schultz, Dean of the College of Fine Arts. And it's my great pleasure to be presiding over the 2019 Spring Commencement. <clears throat> Let's begin by recognizing and thanking the Fred Fox Graduate Brass Quintet. And let's also thank Caitlin Paulson for her opening welcome. <laughs> and congratulate her on her degree from the School of Dance. <laughs> and welcome and congratulations to our entire 2019 graduate cl graduating class. <clears throat> Graduates, the celebration is about you. Could we please have the house lights up for a moment? And let's, uh, let's have all the graduates stand so we can start this celebration by offering them a big round of applause. And you may now be seated. <laughs> As we acknowledge your hard work and your next step on the road to careers in the arts, we must also acknowledge that learning is a partnership. The other half of this partnership is the faculty seated beside me on the stage. and their colleagues who could not be here this afternoon. So faculty, will you please stand? And students, let's show our appreciation for their dedication to your education. <clears throat> please be seated. And let's bring the lights back up for one more moment, if you would, Sam and uh, Kale because the collaboration extends even further. Uh, our graduates have been supported by friends and family, many of whom are here today for this important occasion. So let's have everyone out there who had a role in this success story, please stand up. Parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, significant others, partners, thank you so much for your support. And now we can bring the lights back down. So it's my pleasure now to introduce my faculty colleague, Dr. Bobby McKean. Dr. McKean is, she's associate professor uh, in the School of Theater, Film, and Television. She has taught courses in popular entertainment, audience development, improvisation, and career development. For the first 10 years of her career, Dr. McKean taught methods of educational drama, collaborative play development for theater, for theater for young audiences, and outreach methods for teaching artists. She also directed the Arts Bridge America program and served as a faculty member on the Arts Education Committee, collaborating with arts, arts educators across the College of Fine Arts. In addition to her role within theater, film, and television, Dr. McKean has served with distinction as the faculty director for the Bachelor of General Studies degree for the Colleges of Letters, Arts, and Science. Her research focuses on the role of teaching artists within arts education and the preparation of beginning teaching artists. Before teaching at the university level, Bobby was a professional actress and teaching artist. She was director of education at the Seattle Children's Theater for seven years and served as artistic director of the Seattle Peace Theater, where she directed collaborations with young people and artists from Seattle, Mos Moscow, and Zurich. 
After more than 20 years of service to the College of Fine Arts, Dr. McKean will be retiring this year. So Bobby, we wish you well, and we thank you for your unwavering commitment to arts education here at the University of Arizona. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Bobby McKean. Thank you, Dean Schultz. I am honored to speak at this convocation. To my colleagues, faculty and staff, my most heartfelt thanks for welcoming me into this college and supporting me through all these years. I am in constant awe of your dedication, the long hours, and the excellent work you do to support the arts and to support the most wonderful students on campus. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? To you wonderful graduates, congratulations for making it to this moment. You are all beautiful, shining in your creativity, your passion, your energy. To the parents, family, friends, supporters, my most heartfelt gratitude for helping to make this day possible. A degree in the arts is a lifelong commitment to the arts, not just for the graduates, but for all of you who have the courage and the vision to support an arts degree, even when statistics and rationalists might question the move. <laughs> the poet Wallace Stevens wrote, rationalists wearing square hats think in square rooms. Looking at the floor, looking at the ceiling, they confine themselves to right-angled triangles. If they tried rhomboids, Cones, waving lines, ellipses, as for example, the ellipse of the half moon, rationalists would wear sombreros. <laughs> Most of us have square hats on this afternoon. However, I am pretty confident that most of ours are slightly askew. Our creativity refuses to reside in square rooms. To the remaining rationalists, yes, of course. Artists must often work at right angles, must sometimes fall back on skills and talents in order to meet the economic needs of the world. But boy, what skills and talents do artists have? Artists must work productively in groups. We call it creative collaboration. We must meet deadlines, nothing like the pressure of an opening night audience. We read and write multiple texts, words, films, paintings, sculpture, movement, music. And we think critically with an eye to the historical, the culture, and the social context. Most important, artists are makers, responders, and lovers of the musical, the visual, the dramatic, and the kinesthetic. By virtue of your degree, you are all artists. You have drunk from the well of arts experiences, and there is no going back now. My mentor, Maxine Green, often spoke of two unique qualities of the arts. One, the arts wake us up, and two, the arts open the doors to possibilities. Our wide awakeness enables us to recognize the arts right before our eyes. When I am out hiking on these spring days, I see Frida Kahlo in the pretty bright pink of the penstemons, or Martha Graham in the twists and bends of the mesquite trees. The arts also awaken us to what is not always right in front of us. 
It was Martha Graham who reminded Agnes de Mille that artists must keep the channel open and accept a divine dissatisfaction and blessed unrest that makes each moment more alive and present to what is before us. Our unrest speaks to the wonders of nature living astride the not so wonderful, the lonely, the abandoned, the dry and dusty footprints, the desert in need of repair. Art disrupts what John Dewey called the crusts of conventionality. Deliberately attending and calling attention to this paradox opens the door to the possible, allowing artists to break with the conventional, the given, the taken, the accepted. When we step through the doors, we enter into empathy, that ability to dwell inside the situation, the individual, the emotion. We move beyond the what is to the what if. As makers and viewers, we watch, we listen, and we imagine. We respond to the contemporary, return to stories told, and expose stories not told. We pay attention to who is doing the telling and who is not being heard. This is your power. Wide awake, doors flung open with divine dissatisfaction and blessed unrest. This is what will carry you through your successes and your failures. You enter into the possible on the cusp of a new decade, 2020. As you respond with your artistry, draw upon the legacies that has come before. I think of the Tahana Autumn, on whose land the university sits, or the stories of our founding fathers, retold for the new century by Lin-Manuel Miranda's Hamilton or Heidi Schreck's What the Constitution Means to Me. I think also of the legacies of the 1920s, the 1920s roared into being with the passage of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote. It took more than 130 years, but we the people finally included the half of the population that had been left out the longest. The Harlem Renaissance and Langston Hughes gave voices to those long silent. Showboat broke open a whole new genre of musical theater where content mattered. So what will 2020 bring? How will your artistry give expression to what you know, see, hear, think, feel? How will you reach beyond what is and open to the possibilities of what might be? The poet Mary Oliver wrote, Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? And so today, as we celebrate your one wild and precious life, I challenge you, be curious, look up, not always at your devices, Practice habits that will stand you in good stead for the rest of your life. Understand what lights you up. Find out where you are at your most creative, your most energetic, your most alive, and then volunteer for that more and more and more. Participate, connect, and like Pavarotti at La Scala or our dearly departed Monty Ralston, connect and commit to never missing a beat. <laughs> I'm counting on you. I'll be looking for the sombreros, the half moons, and I have no doubt I will find it. Congratulations, and may your life be as blessed and as full and as rich as my life has been by being with all of you.
Thank you. Wow. Should we just stop there? <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. That was really extraordinary. Um, so next, we're going to have a showcase from the School of Dance. Please join me in welcoming director Jory Hancock to introduce the performance. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a piece coming called Dreams Today. It's a dance choreographed and performed by junior Ali Hauke and senior Gracie Plath. In working together, Gracie and Ali discovered how similarly they move, and they are kindred spirits. So kinesthetically and in temperament, they are mere images of each other. They represent two people who meet and discover that they view life in similar ways. A bond grows, and from that bond, lifelong memories and dreams are formed. Hope you enjoy dreams today.
I'd like to thank the School of Dance uh, for that stunning performance. Thank you. I'm Martina Shino, the Associate Dean of the College of Fine Arts. And next up, we'd like to present the Outstanding Senior Awards, which recognize students of an extraordinary nature. Selection criterion for the Outstanding Senior Awards include scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and community service. In addition to outstanding seniors from each of our schools, we have selected one outstanding senior to represent the College of Fine Arts. The first outstanding senior we wish to recognize is from the School of Dance. We invite Jory Hancock, director, back up to the podium. Thank you, Martina. Will Caitlin Paulson and her nominating professor please stand? <laughs> Caitlin is graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Dance. In her nomination letter, Professor Melissa Lowe writes, Caitlin is a true exemplar in all her dance studies with absolutely equal skills across all three genres, ballet, modern dance, and jazz dance. In addition to being a top scholar in the dance program, Caitlin has managed to dedicate herself with near equal emphasis to her other passion, medicine. Since January 2017, Caitlin enjoys giving back to the Tucson community and assisting others in a time of need in her service as Captain of Personnel, Primary Emergency Medical Technical Services, and Shift Supervisor, Caitlin is positioned to succeed after graduation given the uniquely crafted plan of study she has created for herself here at U of A. Her dual passions, dance and medicine, are guaranteed to intertwine in ways none of us, and in, indeed even she, can imagine but for the coming year, Caitlin will be going to Iowa City to work as a research specialist in clinical studies at the University of, Ari of Iowa. I wanted to say Arizona, I wish she was staying. At the University of Iowa. So let's congratulate Caitlin. <laughs> And now I'd like to invite John Brobeck, Graduate Studies Director of the Fred Fox School of Music, to introduce the outstanding senior from the Fred Fox School of Music. Will Tricia Bacalso and her nominating professor please stand? Tricia is graduating with a Bachelor of Music degree in music education. In her nomination letter, Professor Jackie Glazier states, Tricia has been a great leader in the UA clarinet studio as well as within the Fred Fox School of Music. She is currently serving as Vice President of Tau Beta Sigma Omega Chapter and has participated in over 50 events to support the UA bands and larger community. These events have included donation drives, concert ushering, hosting instrument petting zoos for youth organizations throughout Tucson, and forming a small pep band to perform for several institutions throughout the Tucson community. This fall, Tricia funded the UA Clarinet Club and is currently serving as its president. Tricia is greatly respected and looked up to by her colleagues. I have heard nothing but praise about Tricia from her teachers in the band area, music education, and methods classes. I believe that she has a bright future and is a wonderful representation of our program at the Fred Fox School of Music. Congratulations, Tricia. Next, I'd like to welcome to the podium Deanna Fitzgerald, co-director of the School of Theater, Film, and Television, to introduce the theater program, Outstanding Senior.
Will Cole Rauerdink and his nominating professor please stand? I know, right? Yeah. All right, Cole, yes. Cole is graduating with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Design and Technical Production. In her nomination letter, Professor Jenny Lang wrote, as a student, Cole is passionate about his work, exhibits excellent time management and organizational skills, is eager to learn and shows great initiative and attention to detail both in the classroom and on outside assignments. During his four years at the university, he has successfully served in multiple production assignments as production stage manager, stage manager, assistant stage manager, and technician. Most stage management students complete approximately eight production assignments before they graduate. Cole has successfully completed 15. In May of 2018, I hired Cole as the production assistant for the School of Theater, Film, and Television. Being in a leadership role among one's peers might be challenging for some, but not for Cole. He handled the responsibility of his position with confidence and commanded respect among his colleagues. As a student and professional, Cole has demonstrated a love of learning and a level of commitment that will make him successful not only in his professional career, but also in life. Congratulations, Cole. And now, if you'll join me in welcoming to the podium, Professor Yuri Makino, the other co-director of Theater, Film, and Television. Will Mads Smith Ledford please stand? Mads is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Film and Television. In his nomination letter, Professor Shane Riches wrote, as an outstanding student in film and television, Mads distinguishes herself through a keen intellect, diligence, and integrity. Mads is a classroom trailblazer whose industriousness and determination go far beyond the minimum requirement to elicit the best in herself and her peers. Her all-around excellence resulted in Mads being selected for two fantastic uh, media internships, one with the Hansen uh, Film TV Institute, where she developed and supervised bilingual scheduling and coordination from the film festival Tucson Cine Mexico, and the other with the director Genevieve Anderson on her feature film Too Loud, A Solitude. In addition to her FTB major, Mads has excelled in two minors, psychology and theater arts. Mads has long been uh, motivated by the potency of storytelling in film and in theater. In fact, Mads co-wrote and co-directed uh, a play recently, an original play, which debuted last weekend at Scoundrel and Scamp Theater. Her scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and creativity make her an ideal example of excellence at the University of Arizona. There is no doubt that Mads will flourish wherever this career takes her. Congratulations, Mads. I'd now like to welcome Colin Blakely, Director of School of Art, to the podium to introduce our final outstanding senior. Well, Kennedy Schneider, our School of Art and College of Fine Arts outstanding senior, and Professor Samal Shabi, please stand. In her nomination letter, Professor Alshabi states, Kennedy has produced sophisticated photographs and video works that completely exceed expectations at the undergraduate level while concurrently serving as captain of the UA gymnastics team. The fact that Kennedy is pursuing a degree in fine arts and was able to compete at the highest collegiate level in gymnastics is a true testament to her commitment not only to her gymnastics, but also to her craft in the art world. School of Art photography professor David Taylor shared, 
The highest compliment I can offer Kennedy is that I learned as much from her, probably more, than I have to offer in return. She is responsive to feedback, but also challenges it. When she takes on a project, there is no good enough, and she is often the fiercest critic of her own work. She does not shy away from revision, and she constantly digs to find the most effective way to convey her ideas. That's what will make her a successful artist, and working with her has been an absolute honor. Kennedy is already working, producing work and engaging the field as a professional and handily exceeds what would be classified as excellence from any BFA or MFA student. Um, those of us who are in the school this spring had the pleasure of watching as graduate programs at institutions like Yale, uh, Berkeley and UCLA all fought over Kennedy. Um, uh, at, the, at the end of that process, uh, she decided she will be pursuing her MFA at UCLA in the fall. Congratulations, Kennedy. <laughs> and congratulations to all of our outstanding seniors. So next up, the College of Fine Arts uh, would like to now begin the presentation of degree candidates, which you've all been waiting for. Uh, the origins of academic regalia are believed to have originated in the 12th century. The robes, colors, trimmings, and patterns that you see are traditional and are both, the, they're reflective both of the degree and the discipline. Each school will be called up separately and students as you approach Please first hand your blue card to the representative at the steps and the gray card to the reader at the podium. You'll then proceed across the stage, shaking every one of your faculty members' hands. <laughs> and then you'll be returning to your seat. And also we've hired a professional photographer to capture those special moments. Uh, so, Parents, friends, et cetera, if you could, uh, please keep the aisles clear for the grads to get back to their seats. And will the School of Dance faculty and students please come forward? Oh, sorry. Art. <laughs> Forget to dance. Come on, Art. <laughs> come on down. I'm not the reader. You're not? Okay. No. Who's reading? Oh, oh. Hold on, Sarai. <laughs> Sarai Salea, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Would you like me on the left or the right side? Hi. Kayla Ann Bequar, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, 3D and Extended Media, Magnum Cum Laude. Carly Alexandra Toon, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Alina Maria Andrade, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art and Visual Culture Education, Community and Museums. <laughs> Hannah Atlas Smith Rogers, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art Education, Community and Museums. <laughs> Madeline Rochelle Davis, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Cum Laude. <laughs> Morgan Marie Soule, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Magnum Cum Laude with Honors. Hannah Elizabeth Freilich, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art Education, Community and Museums. <laughs> Alexis Marie Van Hattem, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art.
Corey Nicole Manker, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Summa Cum Laude. Stella Dean Schulhe, Schulte, it's in there. Thank you, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Thank you. Hannah Marie Highland, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Sophie Marie Baudois, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Tabitha. Tabitha Hardy, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art and Visual Culture Education, Teaching, Summa Cum Laude. Lat Vickers Bowen III, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art Education, Teaching, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jose Joel Cardona Gonzalez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art and Visual Culture Education, Teaching. <laughs> Hallie Danielle Becker, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Cum Laude. Lauren Elise Immerveen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. Austin James Luter, Bachelor, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design, Summa Cum Laude. Angela Jasmine Thomas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design. Ingrid G. Martinez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Two Dimensional. Samantha Lee Matthews, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design. Brianna Alexis Doyle, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. <laughs> Peekaboo Grace Obker, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. <laughs> Veronica Rose Larned, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design, Magna Cum Laude. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica Marlene Furrow, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design, Magna Cum Laude. Amy Elizabeth Scheid, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication, Magna Cum Laude. Courtney Michelle Crownhart, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. Carly. Carly J. Brown, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. <laughs> Melanie Rose Fisher, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication, Cum Laude. <laughs> Dakota Nicole Warden, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Mardell Lynn Mattingly, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication, Magna Cum Laude. Woo! 
Andy Elena Obert, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Summa Cum Laude with Honors. <laughs> Libby Helene Bacall, Bachelor of Arts, Art History, Cum Laude. Jose Angel Ornelas Toro, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art, Cum Laude. Dominique Yasmin Martinez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Aguilar, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. Amanda Shea Falzone, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. Haley Sarah Hansen, Hassan, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. <laughs> Kennedy Schneider, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography, Cum Laude. <laughs> Abby Dominique Marriott, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. Chloe C. Mandel. Claire, it's Claire. Claire C. Mandel, sorry. It's in my head. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. It's right here. <laughs> Andrew Holt Frazier, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography, Magna Cum Laude. Kylie Isbell Daniels, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Danny Pacheco, <laughs> Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Photography. <laughs> Amelia Danielle Scott, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. <laughs> Bailey Rose Cooper, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication. <laughs> Haley Lane Dolan, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design, Magna Cum Laude. Hannah Gwendolyn Adams, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design, Cum Laude. Andrew Mendoza, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Studio Art, Visual Communication, Magna Cum Laude. Galmini Sethi, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art History, Cum Laude. Ziwei Chen, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art, Illustration and Design. <laughs> Zhuzhan Nui, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Valeria Natalie Cortez, Bachelor of Arts, Art Education, Teaching. Thank you. Thank you.
And will the faculty from the School of Dance and students please come forward. Jada Rihanna Pierman. Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Grace Louise Barker. Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Elliot Ludovic Trahan. Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, cum laude. Samantha Brooke Tuckman, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Alexia Jane Boyd, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Wen Na Shea Alani Robertson, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Keenan Christopher Schember, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. <laughs> Madison Sue Mistoni, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. <laughs> Emily Jane Sutton, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. <laughs> Katie Taylor Force, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Megan Lee Garcia, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. Amanda Kathleen Connect, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. Kara Catherine Hunsinger, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Montana Mull, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Skylar James Newcomb, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance. <laughs> Eduardo Danielle Zambrana, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance, Magna Cum Laude. Amanda Bell O'Brien, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Marie Quinn, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Michaela Ruth Harrington, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Kayla Lynn Kersey, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance. Caitlin Therese Paulson, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, summa cum laude. Taylor Shea Harrison, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance. <laughs> Johari Uchechi Tate, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Brainer, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, cum laude with honors. Madeline Ann Miller, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Russell Lee Ridgway, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, cum laude. Jessica Megan Gross, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, magna cum laude. Gabrielle Catherine Mix, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance, cum laude with honors. <laughs> JC Rihanna Rainey, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance. <laughs> Carly Faye Clover, Bachelor of Fine Arts Dance. 
Nick Brian Lampson, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance. Grace Carolyn Plath, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance, magna cum laude. Mia Victoria Schindel, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Dance, summa cum laude. And will the Fred Fox School of Music faculty and students please come forward. Emily Christine Garcia, Bachelor of Music, Vocal Performance. Simon Zoher Fadul, Bachelor of Music, Vocal Performance, Summa Cum Laude with Honors. Courtney Carolyn Bryson, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Jacob Christopher Walters, Bachelor of Music, Vocal Performance, Magna Cum Laude. Abigail Esther Eckert, Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Magna Cum Laude. Sebastian Ronald Rodriguez Alameda, Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance. Emma Carolyn Peterson, Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Haley Marie Butler, Bachelor of Arts in Music. <laughs> Melissa Radke, Bachelor of Music in Piano Performance, Summa Cum Laude. Jacob Alexander Ginn, Bachelor of Music in Cello Performance, Cum Laude. <laughs> Courtney Denise Pinsky, Bachelor of Music in Violin Performance, Magna Cum Laude. Anissa Marie Jimenez, Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance, Cum Laude. Hi. Christian Gregory Hagedon, Bachelor of Music in Piano Performance, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Quinn Tyler Jarecki, Bachelor of Music in French Horn Performance, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jin Jo Jia, Bachelor of Music in Vocal Performance. <laughs> Dylan Alexander Brown, Bachelor of Music in Performance Composition. <laughs> Blake Honeycutt, Bachelor of Music in Performance Composition, Cum Laude. Mike Stewart Perea, Bachelor of Music in Trombone Performance, Magna Cum Laude. Rafael Augusto Marquez, Bachelor of Music in Trombone Performance, Magna Cum Laude. Oh, 
John William Collins, Bachelor of Music in Trombone Performance. Hi, Katie. Katie Grace Trent, Bachelor of Music in Trombone Performance, Summa Cum Laude. Gabrielle Ann Dietrich, Bachelor of Music in Violin Performance, Summa Cum Laude with Honors. <laughs> Bryce Gentry Putt, Bachelor of Music in String Bass Performance, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Lauren Marie Carrasco, Bachelor of Music in Violin Performance, Magna Cum Laude. Erin Bree Contreras, Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Robert Davidson, Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Cum Laude. Rachel Marie Radke, Bachelor of Music in Piano Performance, Summa Cum Laude. Jacob Ryan Curtis, Bachelor of Arts in Music. Nathan Daniel Shonsek, Bachelor of Music in Music Education. Trisha Duhili Bacalso, excuse me, Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Summa Cum Laude. Andre Smertsim, Bachelor of Arts in Music. Autumn Celia Dominguez, Bachelor of Music in Performance Jazz Studies, Cum Laude. Jeremy Joseph Winter, Bachelor of Music in Performance, Jazz Studies, Cum Laude. Alyssa Megan Fotenhauer, Bachelor of Arts in Music. Zachary Gerald White, Bachelor of Music in Music Education and Performance in Percussion, Magna Cum Laude. Carlos Alberto Solis, Bachelor of Music in Music Education. T.J. Jake Haley, Bachelor of Music in Percussion Performance. Will the School of Theater, Film, and Television faculty and students please come forward? <laughs> Alexander. Let's try that again. Alexandra Grace Rickards, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, magna cum laude. Samantha Emily Weisspan, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Michael Vincent Epinet, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, cum laude. Ernesto Jack Trejo, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Luke Vincent DeMarco, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television.
Juwan Tyler Chase, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Henley Madeline Bryant, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Tim Wills, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production. Design Technical Production, Summa Cum Laude. Kylie Jo Yolanda Soto, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design Technical Production. Elliot Daniel McVeigh, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Raul Salvador Pompa, ba Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Olivia Carmen Ann Rivera, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Mary Emily Feeney, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production. Taylor Lene Moss, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production. Connor James Green, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production. Tyler David Peterson, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production. Gregory Kyle McGinnis, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Rose Thomas, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production, Magna Cum Laude. Allison, Leon, Allison Leanne Moronis, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design, Technical Production. Shayna Nicole Goldberg, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Joey Thomas Pusino, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Emily Rose Pickering, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. James Thomas Folger Anderson, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Jeremy Brown Brugo, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Corey Gilchrist, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Leticia Silva, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Tesneen Hadija Bufelfel, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Nolan Gray Venneclausen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Mads Elizabeth Smith Ledford, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, summa cum laude with honors. Hannah Marie Sweet, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, summa cum laude. Hannah Blair Aikens, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Aaron Michael Cargill, Cargill, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television. Cassie Marie Rosa, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Ben Laser Weinstein, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Alex Nguyen Zhao, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin Michael Owens, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Sunny Wu, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Eric
Erica Davies Sadige. 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 Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Jaden Spencer Osborne, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Rachel Ann Frankie, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Summa Cum Laude. Adia Olanithia Bell, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Summa Cum Laude. Daniel Evan Kirsch, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design Technical Production, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Kelly Christine Hajek, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Professional Actor Training Program. <laughs> Daniel Lopez, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Quinn Walter Corrigan, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Summa Cum Laude. Cole Joseph Rauerdink, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Design Technical Production, Magna Cum Laude. Trenton James Iberg, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Annie Frances Colopy, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Summa Cum Laude with honors. Peter James Albert Martineau, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Professional Actor Training Program. Candice Nicole Michaels, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Victor Martel Brett, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Boyoung Dung, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. John Paul Ringo Casamasa, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Sorry, John Paul George Ringo Casamasa. Nicholas David Leon, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Mia Nicole Mason, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Andre Bienvenido Carr, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Tyler Gavin Woida, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Connor McKinley Griffin, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Magna Cum Laude. Anza S. Wiedenkeller, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Professional Actor Training Program, Summa Cum Laude. Max Anton Protzen, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Professional Actor Training Program. Zach Walter Zupke, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Magna Cum Laude. Adam David Grodman, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Theater Production, Professional Actor Training Program. Edward Campbell Dunn, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Craig Allen Vasey, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Mark Diego Vidal, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Victoria Lynn Esposito, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude with honors. Justine Candice Coffey, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Jordan Elise Coffey, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Nicole Magdalena Cizak, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Jonathan Samuel Malik, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. 
Noor Bagai, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Cum Laude. <laughs> Connor Michael Morley, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Musical Theater, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jalan Jahan Jackson, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Catherine Grace Clark, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> Bailey Marie Reed, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> Tony John Julian, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. <laughs> Logan Richard Cleverly, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Maya Emily Hoffman Long, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Robert Rene Vidal, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Magna Cum Laude. Jonah Nicholas Vogel, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Gabriel James Rausch, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Nicholas Trinidad Garcia, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Michaela Ashlyn Geis, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. Marissa Corinne LaRoche, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Cum Laude. Joe Daniel Kramer Cox, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> Dustin Ray Fisher, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> David Rivas, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television, Summa Cum Laude, with honors. <laughs> Cameron Marcel Lucas, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Maya Aliyah Mims, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. <laughs> Kyla Autumn Clark, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> Kaylin Larray Cooper, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. Raven Nakia Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Film and Television. <laughs> Ping Yu Ko, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts. <laughs> Miriam Elaine Grolo, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Geneva Rose Casebolt, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Elena Isabel Barbaria, Bar Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Magna Cum Laude, with honors. <laughs> Dylan LeRae Welker, Bachelor of Arts, Theater Arts, Summa Cum Laude. So let's give our students one more round of applause. <laughs> so earlier this afternoon, you were introduced to the outstanding senior in the College of Fine Arts. Kennedy Schneider is a photographic artist. 
As a recently retired NCAA Division I athlete in gymnastics, her work is highly influenced by her experiences as an African-American woman navigating through the sports entertainment industry. Exploitation, black feminism, untold narratives, and the tracing of history are all themes that Schneider explores through her highly performative works. Schneider's work has been exhibited at the Modified Arts Gallery in Phoenix, the Center for Fine Art Photography in Fort Collins, Colorado, and at the University of Arizona's Joseph Gross and Lionel Rombach Galleries. Kennedy's series entitled Hashtag Black was awarded the 2018 Portraiture Honor for the 12th annual Julia Margaret Cameron Awards. And this is no small feat. This is a major, a major, major award. And th that, that body of work will be exhibited at the Gallery Valide Photo in Spain. Please join me in welcoming Kennedy Schneider. Graduating class of 2019, let me hear you make some noise. And where are all my brown people at? Represent. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Kennedy Schneider and I'm a studio arts major with an emphasis in photography. My journey with this institution has been very long and it has defined what now I'm now realizing is just shy of half my life. As I backtracked my relationship with the University of Arizona, I realized it holds a huge outline of very formative accomplishments and factors that have largely informed the woman who has been given the opportunity to speak in front of her graduating class today. 2011. I came to a gymnastic summer camp here when I was 14. I stayed in the dorms, and I got in trouble for climbing on the roof at night with other campers. This was clearly my rebellious phase. 2012. I was offered a scholarship by Arizona Gymnastics to attend and compete on the team starting in 2016. I accepted this offer at age 16. 2014. I graduated high school a year early in advisement from Arizona Gymnastics, who needed my position in the upcoming season. 2015, I applied to the School of Art, and I had my first season as an NCAA athlete. 2016, I learned how to cook without burning the food. Beyonce released her album, Lemonade. And I met my lifelong friends and artistic mentors, David Taylor and Sama al -Shabi. I also showed my artwork to the public for the very first time. 2017, I became a Pac-12 all-conference second team member. I had my first group show that was video art based. And I made my first piece of art that was also about sports. 2018, I retired as a gymnast after completing my eligibility. This was when I finally started to define myself outside the parameters of sports after a 21-year career. I completed my senior thesis, showing in exhibitions on numerous occasions. In December 2018, I opened my first solo show titled Seasoned, which included works investigating the black body in the sports entertainment industry. It investigated themes of exploitation, agency, and systemic consumption and oppression. 2019. I got accepted and will be attending UCLA's Masters of Fine Arts program. This year, I uttered these words and believed them for the first time ever. I'm going to be an artist. That declaration is often followed with a scoff, a blank stare, or just complete and utter dismissal. The term artist 
is often coupled with the adjective starving. It is also societally classified with descriptors such as free-spirited, dream chaser, talent, creative, and hipster. My favorite response when people become aware of what I'm receiving my degree in is, well, what in the world do you plan to do with that? I've heard that response before, and I'm sure all of you have in many different contexts. From a very young age, my life was dictated by ribbons, rhinestones, medals, leotards, and conformity. It was dictated by the score from judges that reflects exactly how imperfect you are, how much you messed up, or how much you don't fit the mold that dictates worthiness. For unlike other sports where you are rewarded with a point for doing something great, in gymnastics, scores are only articulated when you do something poorly. Every movement you make, something is taken away from you. Well, what in the world do you plan to do with that? That was also the response I got when a teammate pointed to my frizzy hair before a gymnastics competition. In a predominantly white sport, I was reminded every single day that I would never fit the mold of the ideal gymnast as a woman of color. The gym chalk on my skin showed up more than other girls, which was often followed with laughter and comments on my ashiness. My body type could never form the straight, clean lines that was indicative of champions. The nude-colored cover-up tape did anything but cover up. I was appalled to see that little white girls would call me dirty behind adults' backs. I did not want to be black. In my eyes, the melanin in my skin was just another manifestation of what wasn't a perfect 10. Well, what in the world do you plan to do with that? Those were the words that came out of my brother's mouth as I opened up the package of my very first camera. The camera that would lead to what would bloom into a passion and then to the dominating visual communicator for my work as an artist. I began to make photographs. First of flowers, then of my cat, and then of my brothers. My brothers who shared the pigment of skin that I had, who had the same curly hair that broke brushes and twisted in on itself. The only other black people I knew and saw from day to day growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood, a neighborhood where I was pretty for a black girl, and where I was crowned the class Oreo year after year. Through the lens, I found them and I found me. Through art, I found my voice, a voice that stirred the pot, asked questions, faced the unspoken, and wore its hair in Afro form loud and free. I found a woman who was incredibly angry at systemic injustices, who confronted her identity after years of institutional miseducation and shame, and who loves and empathizes deeply with others. I found a fighter, a feminist, a fabulous diva, and a fearless creator. That is what the arts do. They make change, they bring joy, they raise questions, and they create a platform where there is room for an infinite amount of voices. In the arts, there is no first place medal or winning score, and that is what makes what we do so beautiful. It is the grace athleticism, and movement of a dancer. It is the expression, harmony, and emotional capabilities of a musical score. It is the design, diction, and drama of the theater. It is the storytelling, communication, and experimental multiplicity of film. What we do is not quantitative. It cannot be measured only felt. It is validated by authenticity and not conformity. 
It is upheld by creative intellectuals who know who they are or are discovering just that. We create a space for people who do not feel they have a space. What we do is what makes life worth living. As we move on from this place where we are cocooned and surrounded by others who understand the beauty in the arts, we might not come across these beliefs and appreciation as much out in the real world. But we didn't start what we did to gain validation from accountants, engineers, and other jobs that I imagine in gray cubicles with absolutely no paint or music. We chose this path because we felt we needed to. We felt we needed to make change and to make movement through human connectivity and emotion. This is us, this is who we are, and we are far from starving. So the next time someone asks you the infamous question, well, what in the world do you plan to do with that? You just answer, I'm going to make a difference. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kennedy, so very much for those uh, inspiring remarks. So now we have a second showcase before we close, and this is from the School of Theater, Film, and Television Musical Theater Program, and it's my pleasure to welcome to the podium uh, Assistant Professor Hank Stratton to introduce the piece. Thank you, Andy. This past year, the College of Fine Arts lost one of its most valued treasures with the passing of Professor Monty Ralston. His impact was felt in every corner of the college through his peerless teaching, his superb mentorship, and indomitable spirit. Monty's legacy lives on in the hearts and careers of over a thousand students whose lives he forever changed. Here to sing about the human connection that defined Monty's life and career are BFA Musical Theater graduates, Rachel Frankie and Adia Bell, accompanied by Professor Jamie Reed, performing For Good from the Broadway musical Wicked. come into our lives for a reason bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return well I don't know if I believe that's true but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? Because I knew you I have been changed for good It will may be That we will never meet again In this lifetime So let me say before we part So much of what I learned from you, you'll be with me like a
like a handprint on my heart. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. Like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind off the sea, like a sea drop by a sky bird in a distant wood. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me There we go. Uh, so thanks for, to the School of Theater, Film, and Television for that really moving performance and uh, tribute to Professor Monty Ralston. Before we close, I'd like to acknowledge the many student and staff volunteers who made this celebration possible. Uh, first and most importantly, a special thanks to Ryan Burton Romero and Lindsay Shackleton Clark sitting in the front row. <laughs> for all of the uh, really amazing work you did in the planning and organization needed to, uh, to pull off this amazing event. Thanks also to, to Sam and to Kale and the entire Centennial Hall crew for their amazing work. And lastly, a special thanks to, uh, to, Cy, to Cy, to Dane, and to Dal for the incredible IT work they do uh, for the college and for this event. Uh, all of the, vi all of the uh, slides you saw and everything else are their work, so thanks to them as well. <clears throat> and also on a related IT note, uh, as it's noted in your program, this ceremony can be viewed and played back at live .cfa.arizona.edu. And now finally to our graduates, I hope you remember this day fondly and that you look back with satisfaction as you reflect back on your, on your time in the College of Fine Arts. You're now leaving our halls and our classrooms and our studios to chart future paths that may very well help to define the art forms you've studied here and perhaps even define new art forms that we have not yet imagined. You now join thousands of distinguished CFA alumni who have made remarkable impacts on the arts and on the world. And I think you heard two really extraordinary, from two extraordinary students uh, here today poised to make exactly those impacts. And I know there are countless others out among us here today. We're eager to follow your progress, to celebrate your successes, to lend a hand along the way. We congratulate all of you for what you've accomplished here, and we hope you'll stay in touch and offer your support to future graduates. 
And so now, uh, finally, I'd like to ask the seniors on the stage to please join me here at the podium. And I'd like to ask all the graduates in the house to please stand. And we're going to uh, bear with me here for a minute. Don't do anything yet. Uh, we're going to officially recognize your change of status by moving those tassels from the left to the right. So get ready. So one, two, three. Let's just keep going. So congratulations, class of 2019. Uh, this concludes our ceremony. We're delighted to have you with us. And uh, please, uh, please rise for the, procession, for the recessional of, the, of faculty and students. Thank you. 
another one? Um, they're still processing, right? 